All right, guys, we are back here in Monster Jam. Oh, can we hit this like a big old berm? Oh, that's not gonna work. Kind of worked how I intended it to, but uh, I'm just gonna keep on cruising. We're on four wheels. We're playing as Captain's Curse right now and currently heading through the mine, leaving the wasteland in the dust, and we are heading to the haunted forest on to a new area it is time to take on the final area here in monster jam and i think it's gonna be crazy i think it's about to be nuts especially doing the waypoint races there's a lot of stuff for us to do here within this map we got to find all of the collectibles of course unlock all of the undead trucks a hey, speak of collectibles i wish i could say that uh, i staged that but hey that's just sometimes the luck of recording videos you speak things into existence if i can make my way up over that edge there we go we can snag that collectible i had no idea that thing was there that, that's not good not how i wanted to start off four more world chapters to get done in the world career here today i think we'll do two in this episode two in next episode if you guys do enjoy the monster jam content make sure to go down there and smash that thumbs up button for me as we are approaching the end of the world career series here on the channel let me know in the comments below if you guys have any crazy monster jam video ideas that you want to see in the future i want to keep the monster jam content here on the channel especially if you guys have some fun video ideas we can definitely make those happen man this area is nuts subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already you guys don't want to miss out on the finale episode which is next episode and we're always posting the off-road gaming bangers i wonder is this just like a secret pathway so make sure you guys have those post notifications turned on that way you never ever miss an upload from your boy goonzig Let's go ahead and snag this collectible. Destroy some pumpkins in the process. Jeez, look at that multiplier. <laughs> Can we get it up into the hundreds? That might be the highest multiplier I have seen so far in this game. We could nearly get 200 right here. That is nuts. Can we make it happen? Oh, this is going to be a good episode. Let's roll that intro 250,000 in one combo all right so i do believe i have a few things that i can do to kind of start off this episode i'm not sure if this is the captain's curse secret over here but it is the only hidden secret that i currently know about now if we kind of finesse our way back up over here x marks the spot but in order to unlock the crazy creatures trucks within this game there are hidden x's throughout each map and each map has their own truck for you to unlock megalodon here for the undead world the haunted forest you can find megalodon i was wondering how we were gonna unlock this truck and uh yeah there you go so that's another truck that we are going to have to uh play around with and have some fun with there's like this boardwalk thing here that's pretty cool and man this map is absolutely nuts i want to say that this world secret is not for captain's curse because nothing really happens when i mess around with it i'm kind of curious to see where this boardwalk is gonna go i already know this is gonna be part of a waypoint race i can almost guarantee it i think these last four chapters of the world career are about to be insane hopefully they're not too difficult but uh you never know this is when this is when it's time to put the skill to the test. Finish off this world career strong. If I'm driving like that, hey, you know what? We're back on four wheels going the proper direction pretty quick. Salvage mode. Crazy how quick mistakes can cost you time here in this game. Where are we, man? This is nuts. A big old cave? How much? How much gold, dude? Holy, we are rich from rags to riches. Is this actually a world secret down here? Yo, what is happening? Is this the captain's curse? World secret? No way. No way, dude. It's pretty cool. We actually got that gold, baby. Let's go. From rags to riches, just like that. 
It is. No way that just happened. Check that one off the list, I guess. That was actually pretty sweet, man. Does the gold respawn? I would love it if the gold could respawn so I could snag a thumbnail there, but... That might have been a missed opportunity. Dang. Oh, it's coming back. The gold's coming back. <laughs> Chapter 18, Racing the Dead. Let's get into this world career. Of course, playing on the hard difficulty. Now, I do have to try and play as some of the Defenders trucks, the Demolition Crew trucks, and the Undead vehicles. Because I need to get that 25,000 XP to unlock the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the last truck within each of these categories. So, I think I might as well just start off in the Defenders. We can play as Alien Invasion Inverse and, uh, show off this DLC truck. I think the DLC trucks are pretty cool. They're pretty clean. I actually don't know if I am prepared. I don't know if I am ready to hop in. Is this gonna be a destruction event oh i'm definitely ready for this one i think we go ahead here and try and start things off with a terry send oh i got like no air time we're locked in a wheelie oh man that was a pretty exciting start to this destruction event i gotta try and well as the name of the uh, the event states destroy stuff that is the main goal these events are interesting i feel like you just need to kind of find a flow around the stadium and be able to obviously destroy as much stuff as possible while keeping your combo alive i mean we saw that pumpkin destruction at the start of the episode and how deadly that can be when trying to uh rack up a good combo we were up into like the 200 times multiplier at the start of the episode and that's the first time i have ever seen that man already into the hundred times is this just a really easy course or am i just getting a lucky run in the bag here i almost had a combo going the whole entire time that might be it there <laughs> 224k from one combo that's the win just like that i'm not even sure what second place had but uh yeah leading the series standings a hey, i think it was that terry send good luck at the start of that round so now we're going on to a two-wheeled skill event i find these either go really really good or really really bad obviously you need to try and bring like a two-wheeled trick into the mix here with your combo just like that and a backflip here off of that those never count for me i can never get those to count okay i'm gonna have to hit a gnarly old cyclone here and get back onto four wheels that's that combo i'm in third we still get another attempt here my combo has started so i gotta try and make make something happen i don't want to lose it but it looks like this is another one where we get three attempts I do believe that Cyclone will count as a two-wheel skill trick. Oh, landing on my roof. Luckily, that combo counted. Jumping up into the lead. We're on another one. Oh, man. That's a disaster start to this combo. But let's see what we can do to keep it alive. We bounce off of these. Shouldn't have went for the flip shouldn't have went for the flip i think i still won though which is good we're leading the series standing still but now i think i'm about to get lost in the woods because that's the next event the way the world career is set up each chapter contains two kind of stadium events and then one event that takes place within the open world map i feel like as we've approached the end of the world career these kind of you know waypoint races and stuff they've just gotten harder and harder and harder so go down there right now and smash that thumbs up button for me i need all the good luck right now in the comment section to get this win i guess we just gotta take things slow oh man late start half of the trucks didn't even move which way are we going here left oh man going to the left I think I would have kind of sent it straight if uh, the trucks didn't all go so slow off the start. I was wondering what was up. We had a hard turn coming up. All right. I feel like near the end of the world career here, this is where the competition is going to be thick. It's not going to be easy to win these races. I think the first couple worlds, the Bark Park, Camp Crushmore, those areas... Those races are a lot easier, the waypoint races and stuff, just because the map is a lot more open. The terrain in these last few worlds, especially in the wastelands too, it's a lot more rugged and rough. 
a lot more obstacles that can uh, just ruin your flow without even oh man that pole that pole actually saved me from flying off track right as i was about to uh hate on all of the obstacles around the map things can go wrong quick here oh no it's like i knew that was gonna happen okay okay it's not that bad it's not that bad salvaged some time there lost some time but that could have been a lot worse i think zombie is right behind me i think i saw an arm come into my screen there that's like a super cross triple man that is actually sweet i feel like we are actually racing on a track right now like a like a motocross track or something this definitely gives me some mx versus atv vibes that is for sure some old school mx versus atv vibes you know in the old games where you could get out there and drive a monster truck on like a supercross track man maybe this is the hidden gem here within monster jam this track is actually sweet this might be one of my favorite races i have done so far within the game i thought all of these races within the uh the final haunted forest area here were about to be super super difficult but we have like rhythm sections berms straightaways this is actually like a legit track this step up here that i overshot last lap oh dude this is actually sweet 10 out of 10 here for one of my first experiences within the haunted forest i mean it's a grind to get this far oh this section <laughs> me and the monster truck do not get along with that section me and four wheels if we were on two wheels i could cruise through that section but me and four wheels just struggle i guess we'll have one more lap to try and get some redemption but i guess it is a grind if you wanted to just hop in and uh play this this map to get this far in the world career it definitely takes some hours of gameplay unless you just hop in and grind you could probably actually get here pretty quick i would say oh man things are getting sketchy on this last lap and it's not like I've pulled away from the pack at all. They are right there. Because every time I pull away, I make a mistake. Anyways, there is a playground mode that you can hop in and play. It basically unlocks everything in the game for you. And you can't earn XP or anything or progress in any way. But you have access to everything. So you can totally come in and just shred this your first day playing the game. Oh man, this is going to be sketchy. This is actually going to be a sketchy last lap battle i almost go straight over the front end there it's not really over the bars what do you call it when you're in a monster truck i almost do a front flip i guess <laughs> down that drop off oh and that there that is so sketchy man if i had more speed for that step up i might be good but uh, i need to just cruise on home this section eats me alive slow and steady through there there we go redemption in that section and now cruise on home to that finish line 10 out of 10 though for this event honestly one of my favorite events so far within the world career imagine we had like man imagine we had a moto track pack dlc that came to the table Ooh, i would definitely cop that bringing home that win i didn't get lost in the woods that event was sweet that's the simplest way to put it like supercross here in monster jam it was more of like a motocross style track but man 10 out of 10 that was fun dominating simply dominating that chapter there unlocking zombie man look at those arms might be one of the most unique looking looking trucks out there i wonder how easily the arms fall off out there in competition so the lost in the woods circuit i gotta write that one down that is a fun map oh no way here is actually the little board that shows you where the x is in order to find megalodon you need to find that x i don't think i ever would have found that without google to be honest chapter 19 within the world career walk in the plank walk in the plank walking the plank walk in the plank like are we actually inside of the plank so i need 4,000 more xp here in this defenders category in order to unlock that last truck i wonder what truck that's gonna be i think demolition crew here that is max d right dang the trucks that everyone wants to see the trucks that everyone wants to play as they make it a grind in order to unlock those toronto no way we're gonna unlock the good old canadian map i'm not sure if i will ever 
come in and do much single player action but multiplayer is a thing and that would probably be fun to get into after the world career there is also the world career plus sessions that we could do but i think it is the same maps and everything just maybe a harder difficulty and i don't believe there will be any new unlocks or anything i mean if i do want to 100 100 the game then i definitely need to look at maybe doing that one day but uh for now, I just want to unlock everything, complete all the world secrets, and uh, complete this world career. Is that... Man, oh no. This is going to go bad. I'm going to lose right off the bat. Let's run it, though. Let's see if I can make the comeback. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a tough one, dude. This is a tough, tough head-to-head -head event. Toronto, not treating the Canadian boy well, that is for sure. I'm in second. I'm actually almost getting lapped. I don't think, man, I'm just not setting myself up good for those jumps. It's over. It's actually over with. I don't stand, I don't stand a chance in this event. Oh, how do I miss those jumps every single time? Yo, that would have been the move if I drifted right into that corner there. I got last. That's the simplest way to put it. Backwards Bob eliminating your boy after dominating the previous chapter. Coming out of there with an 8th place finish. I need to win these next two events or else it is all over for this chapter. Can I make the comeback happen? Freestyle? Man, me and freestyle, we do not get along. But let's see if I can send it and uh, get a good run in the bag here. I'm going to go for a flip off of this oh, like a 360 can i get a cyclone going here doesn't count it all right it's as if i'm not spinning in circles right now <laughs> get me back up pop out of that that was a waste of time for the most part try and flip off of that did i end up grabbing that beacon i did gonna lose that combo jump to here and see if i can flip off of make it around oh thank goodness i didn't want to lose the combo in such a silly silly way flip off of there try and slow the rotation so i land good and carry this two times multiplier into this jump can i land in oh i wanted to land in a wheelie but hey you know what that stoppy works can i spin myself into some donuts and not lose the combo just like that slow things down a bit seven times we can work with that 51 seconds on the clock right now perfect i pretty much did the same thing there twice in this run but it's working man it is working 11 times oh up the jump oh that might be a play i'm stuck i'm stuck <laughs> get me out of here under 30 seconds on the clock a late rotation on that front flip let's see if i can back my way up to this jump maybe should it uh, yeah maybe that wasn't the play this could actually be a sweet play if, say we flip okay no that didn't work combo down the drain i still got that win and that's what i needed i was thinking if we could hit that jump do a backflip and land in a stoppy and then power our way while in the stoppy up the landing of the jump and then maybe get some more airtime on the way back over the jump that would be pretty sweet i'm up to fourth in the series standings tied with monster mutt ruttweiler so i think i do have a chance at that top three the cursed coat is the next event let's see if this waypoint race is on par with that uh, previous event it does feel like these waypoint races are actually a lot harder than you know your standard set out track event oh, oh, that wasn't supposed i don't think any of us were supposed to do that <laughs> can we actually just send it back up like that there's no way there's no way they're gonna make that happen is is it possible what a way what a way to start this off man I think I just restart. I think I actually just restart event. I wonder if they're going to do the same thing again this time. I was stuck. There was no chance I was even finishing anywhere but last in that event. Now, okay, it's through here. They all just sent it off. Yeah, that definitely wasn't supposed to happen. I don't think that was really supposed to happen. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe I was being too aggressive. You can just shove people off the cliff, man. That is amazing. 
Okay, I don't want to get shoved off the cliff, though. Or drive off the cliff myself. I think there's actually a collectible. Whoa, I'm lagging. I don't know what's happening. Oh, dude, that's insane. I'm crashing. There's no way I'm driving away from this. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll take it. I knew this was going to be part of a waypoint race. I didn't expect that send to be part of a waypoint race the terry send man coming into play the terry sends are usually good luck though so let's see if we can get up here into this lead we're battling for third right now sometimes it is good oh man to keep these guys in front of you until like the last second just because they know where they're going at this point now i am clueless i have no idea where i'm supposed to be going other than uh, obviously following the markers, but the AI seem to have some cheats and some tricks when it comes to uh, getting from point to point. Like here, where am I supposed to go? Oh, this is kind of a send. Oh, the school bus or the cool bus. Higher education coming in hot. Down through here, we're now on this track at gate nine out of 18. So we're like not even halfway. Is that like a graveyard there? look like a graveyard for all of those trucks there's got to be somewhere where there's just tons of monster trucks sitting destroyed monster trucks sitting just rotting away am i right or am i wrong like where do they put all the trucks or all the body parts at least just scrap metal throw them in the scrap bin out back and uh let them get taken away or what is there like a scrap yard a wreckers for monster trucks that no one really knows about am i supposed to drop down here i think i'm kind of just following this path at this point i think i am free to almost send it wherever i want but for the most part it's probably best if i do stay on the trail because it seems to be working pretty dang good for the most part i guess when the area is as crazy as the haunted forest is they can't get like too too crazy with the waypoint races like there are only so many different path options available is that it that's the win i didn't expect to get that win at all there's another door is there another area tell me it then opens up to camp crushmore and the area is just looped all the way around that would be sweet but i feel like these races within the haunted forest almost need to follow the pathways because if they get too crazy and too creative i mean going from you know one area to the next on the map it's going to be nearly impossible to find a path so i feel like so far at least like even that waypoint race was pretty pretty laid out self-explanatory like follow this path and you will complete the race there are some where i feel like i just get lost but so far that hasn't happened in this world that is second place on the standings i actually tied with pirate's curse man if only i didn't get knocked out right away in that head-to-head -head event that was just goon driving to start off this chapter chapter 19 in the bag though avenger oh man that is a truck i don't know if i've actually ever played as the avenger truck in this game i've battled with them that's for sure and we unlocked pirate's curse no way hold up so avenger was the truck unlock for reaching level 25 with that truck category this is actually the truck we unlocked for the waypoint races there for this chapter pirate's curse oh i think i know where the world secret is for pirate's curse that is the avenger unlock so i will have to do that world secret and then we also unlocked pirate's curse and zombie within this episode whoa is that supposed to be was that supposed to be green like that? I guess so, eh? I'm playing as Pirate's Curse right now and I am slowly but surely working my way over towards where we need to be for this collectible. Oh man, we're on this pathway. I know there's actually a collectible down here, is there not? Oh, there is, let's go. Grab that bad boy. Oh, we're tumbling. I didn't lose my hat, let's go. I don't think I took any damage there. Landing in the water is definitely key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there we go. There's the hat. Gone. Body of the truck destroyed just like that. Oh, what did we hit there? Oh my goodness, man. It's crazy how much a little piece of wood can impact your truck. But I think that is because this area here is part of the pirate's curse world secret oh there's a oh i did not know that's how it worked so there's a collectible for us to snag 
Wow, I'm like locked over in this little like area now. Crawl my way over the rocks. Oh, 360. Let's go. <laughs> New cyclone on four wheels like nothing even happened. Can I get up over here? I don't think I actually can. That is bright. What the heck? Those lights were insane. Okay. If I finesse my way over here, I think I do need to try and get some boosts built up. So that I have some boosts to use to make that jump happen or else I don't think that jump is happening. I definitely need more speed. That's for sure. If I come out like all the way out here, kind of work my way this way. I guess I got to line myself up. Good for it. That's insane. I missed it. No way. <laughs> that is crazy though. It does give you a boost to make it happen. But now I got to work my way back. Oh, that's a rock. So maybe I don't actually need all of the speed in the world through here. Maybe I should just work on actually lining myself. Okay, what the, what the heck? What is that? Do I approach it slow? Am I supposed to like just creep on up to it and see what happens? Boost pad appears. What if now I just do that? Oh my, it was really that easy. It was that easy from the start. One thing I still wish that they had within this game was like a fast travel to the garage. Unless they have it and I just don't know how to use it. I guess there is a little cheat that you can do. You can load into like a circuit race. I'm gonna choose zombie because that's the next world secret I wanna do. The zombie world secret is mad far away. Hey, you know what? I needed to get away from that castle, so that works. I think I need to actually head like this direction. Oh, I'm to the moon. Oh, there's a collectible there. How do I actually get that thing? Oh my, there's another one there. I see a bunch of collectibles. I just have no idea how to get them. Is this the zombie curse straight up right here? I don't think so. Nah, is it? This is like the graveyard. I feel like we need grave digger or something. Why are there like nuts and bolts flying off of that car? What is happening? I'm like stuck. I think I'm gonna need Google for this one. I think I'm gonna need Google for a lot of stuff in this world. So that's where we're gonna end it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to go down there and smash that thumbs up button for me. And I will catch you guys all in the next Monster Jam video. Peace out.